I wanted to make another screencast as today we just, or myself in the English department just went through a really cool one on one session with Jim Jameson about some ideas for Google Drive and what we could do online and in a collaborative sense. He brought up some really, really cool ideas. And I cited this one general tips for essay writing as it really showed that the essay writing or any writing process isn't going to be as linear as it traditionally was, where at the very beginning, if we remember from our days, you would start taking some notes, then you'd write down the notes, and from there you'd try to put them in some logical and coherent order, then you'd have to remember what, where you got them from inciting. With a lot of these ideas that are here, I think that it really makes it less of a linear process and more of something that happens almost simultaneously in terms of citing sources, getting information, and everything like that. So what I wanted to go through here is simply three things, or sorry, four things. Uh, one about this research tab, how it can cite for you, how it can preview for you, and look up other things where you may want to put in additional information. So what I've done here, if you've seen my other previous screencast, it's all about good note taking and I gave a few examples of things that you may want to do such as asking questions and I really wanted to build on that one that note taking done on Google Drive is a lot more powerful than simply what it was just the note taking that I had done previously first off for example you have the share button up here you can share it uh, with myself as the teacher and you know you can ask questions in that of me so it can be again some real-time formative feedback if you want again you can just add people down there and share as long as they're in the, the Google Docs and the York board, you should be fine. Uh, the first thing I wanted to say is talking a little bit about this research tab. I pulled up some old notes, uh, similar ones I used in the last one, just some shortened version of my Caesar notes for my essay. And like I said, they were, they were pretty bad as, as I didn't really know where the information was coming from or anything like that. But one thing I want to show you here, and there's no real right or wrong way to use it. If you click on the tools icon up here, you get and you click on research, you get this sidebar that comes up and it's a really amazing tool that you can do some research simultaneously as you are basically writing and finding information. So perhaps you know you want to beef up some information somewhere. You can do research right in Google Drive in and of itself. So also of course you can always open up a new tab and do that. But for example, you know, you can search Google everything images. What's really cool is if you can search Google Scholar quotes uh, dictionary. So Perhaps what I want to do is I'm writing my information on Julius Caesar, and what I want to look up here is Caesar quotes. There we go. Click on the research tool. It's finding every. Okay, I came, I saw, I conquered. Let's go specifically. I want some quotes. I want to find some good direct quotes for Julius Caesar. And if you're in an English class and don't know who Caesar is, a famous Roman general. Okay, and. Let's say I, I really like this quote right here, and it's from answers.yahoo.com. It says, I love the name of honor more than I fear death. What's really cool is you can simply put insert, sorry, my tab was up here, and then what you have right here, let me do that again at a better spot. You can see it got inserted right there, but what's really cool about it is it cites the source automatically. So you can see the number one is right there, and at the bottom, it cited it automatically not the greatest citation in the world as it's from Yahoo Answers but that really leads us into our, our next thing so let me just go down here okay start a new paragraph I'll show you that again I really like this next quote men in general are quick to believe that which they wish to be true actually it's a very good quote and what I want to do is I want to insert that quote right here so as you can see it's been inserted right there you can change that Julius Caesar if you want and then it cites it automatically here Unfortunately, the one thing you have to look out for is you have to make sure that the citations are quality citations, that they're not just quick like this. For example, you'll need uh, information about who the author may be of the website, where you got the website from, where you accessed it. So it's just like grammar check on Word. It's not right all the time. This is simply a computer and it's no substitute for your mind. So even though it's easy to put the citation in there, and that is obviously very, very time consuming, or sorry, time saving, make sure that the quotes um, or sorry, the citations are there and everything's okay themselves. They're proper ones. But what's really cool about it, say I want the, the second one. I'd rather be the first in a little Iberian village than second in Rome. Insert. And what you noticed here is that quote has become number two and the quote I had before becomes number three. So you have citations in there right away, even though 
That was my second one I put in. It changes things automatically. So it's very, very easy to put in quotations if you find them online. And it cites them, them for you as well. Other things I want to show you then. Let's go back to everything. And, okay, look at this. This is really cool here. Um, yeah, I'll keep it at that. So then there's an option for images right there. There's, there's the quote section right here. You can, you know, make this size larger. Um, you know, you can expand the quotes as well if you want. But the really cool thing you get in here is web results. So if you want, what you could do is you could be doing your research and perhaps you realize, oh, I need to find some, some more information right here. And it's really easy to, to cite right away. And so what you can do is this is exactly like a web search right here. And very, very interesting and very, very informative. Okay, let me minimize my screen size up here because I feel like I'm missing something off in the side here. Oh, okay, so here's where it is. So what you could do is, okay, I don't want that movie right there. What I do want is I want this Julius Caesar biography right here. So if I scroll over the biography right there, what you can see is this button called preview right here. And it, it gives you a preview of the website that you'd be going to. So you'd be like, okay, that's, that's actually a really, really interesting website. Uh, however, I want to collect the, I don't want to look at that right now. Close it back up. But what you can do, and a good idea perhaps when you're taking notes, is sites for future research. There we go. And what's really cool about that, so you have the biography of .com. Insert link right there. That's amazing. So you're like, okay, I'm not really looking for something right now, but it's right there. And what you do is you click on it. Takes you right to the website. Unfortunately, my computer is a little slow. Yours should be quicker than this. But again, you have a ready-made, you know, sites for future research as you're skimming and scanning. So obviously some amazing opportunities right here for putting in information and, and using it. So, okay, I don't know why this is not scrolling fast. Okay, it's not scrolling fast enough. So obviously you can do a lot of stuff with, with the Google search right here. And for, let's go to Google Scholar. Let's see what we can find here. Google Scholar, and look, it gives you a whole list of interesting articles that you could use. Uh, Close up that in biography before he keeps talking. So what's really cool is you get the access to Google Scholar and you can find a huge amount of documents right here. And another cool thing, let's go back to what we were looking at earlier. The, we were in everything. What we had was the Julius Caesar biography down there. So it was the biography.com, where was it again? Okay, I don't want to take up all, all your time here. Say, for example, we go to the website, we click on it, and we decide we want to, to use something from it. So again, you can easily click into the website right there, and you should be able to find something good. So say, for example, I'm going to do something very, very bad here. I'm going to copy and paste for simplicity's sake. Never do this, of course, as you will be plagiarized. We'll build on to something later. Um, so what I decide to do is I copy and paste that and you know say I fiddle around with it and I make it my own words. So what's really cool about this is say I get to the end of that point I want to make. What you can do here is click on the site button right there. There, site number four. Julius Caesar, Wikipedia, the Free in 2003. And it's really cool. It shows you the website when it began, um, you know, when you access the article. And again, a hyperlink to the article itself. So that really does save you a lot of time in trying to remember where all of your notes are from. So perhaps you, you know, maybe make a title and you say Julius Caesar Wikipedia. And then you just say, again, you can just simply cite the source again and you know all the information you put under here is from Wikipedia. And the other really interesting thing you can do to this is let's go back to how the fact that I copied and pasted, which is a negative thing, of course. What I want to do is, obviously, I want to put this chunk of text I got in my own words. It's already cited for me, so I want to, whatever, put it in my own words, and I don't really want to spend all the time doing that because nobody wants to hear me talk about how I cite or how I put things in my own words. 
But again, another idea of something that you can use that's very, very beneficial with the, the preview and everything like that. Uh, if you copy and paste text, there's no excuse now to not properly cite it, nor is there no excuse to have everything in your own words and everything organized. As I was talking to other teachers, though, today, there's a few things that I see could go wrong with this, whereas a lot of students tend to like to do everything all at once. Like, in this case, you're citing sources at the same time, you're doing your research, you're organizing your essay, so, and you're kind of writing a final draft, so you're doing four things. You're making an outline, writing, you're doing a lot of things at the same time. And I worry that you could lose track of the bigger picture. So, although this does allow opportunities to make things a lot more efficient in terms of citing sources, there's still a lot of things that you have to keep track of. And just because it makes things more efficient doesn't make writing any easier. You still have to write very clearly, regardless of whether you're writing an essay in science, math, uh, history, English, whatever. All these things still have to be kept relatively focused and on task. So some really good ideas here for research and everything like that that can really supplement. There's no right or wrong way of how to use these. You may not like any of these things that I've shown here, but that's okay. At least you've tried them perhaps and you figured out what you'd like to do with them. And maybe you only incorporate the fact that you can do research on the side or perhaps you want to just simply, I only like the copy and paste and the fact that I can preview or insert links for future research. Take whatever you want out of this. You don't have to do everything, but perhaps something will be very helpful for you. One last thing I do want to show is say you do decide to share the file with me is the comment feature up here is, is a really interesting one where really you're annotating your own notes and your own ideas. So say for example, let's close up the research for now. Uh, this point. For some reason I like Roman politics a struggle. Wow, is a struggle in a society of blatant inequalities of classes where people like Caesar embrace the conflict and those who believe they could maintain the status quo. Wow, I'm horrible at taking notes. So say for example, I click insert comment and then what you have over here on the right is the ability to insert comments. Maybe I want to write a comment for myself. Say, you know, I mentioned there's, there's blatant inequalities. What inequalities, oh god I can't even write, existed in Roman society. How did Caesar exploit these? You know, you, and there's a couple questions for yourself right there too. So on the sidebar, you can see, okay, where am I going with this? And it's highlighted. I want to expand on this idea. And you can always edit for edit. So research further. And there's just a point for myself. I'd like to research that one further. So many, many opportunities. And say again, you want to write to your teacher. You can put a comment in there and, you know, let the teacher know and say, obviously, if you don't share with anybody, if, if you know, you're my student, if you don't share with me, I'm not going to go and ask. But if you come to class and say, oh, Mr. Wiskin, uh, I'm working on this, this document. I made a few comments. Can you, can you look over them? Or I have some questions for you then. Would you mind going looking through the comments? And what's really cool about this is I could look at it in class, but perhaps you might forget about it. And you just say, I want some written feedback. And the question would be, is this a good idea? Where should my research take me. And you leave a comment right there and then you know then I know okay actually probably should say comment for Mr. Wiskin that would probably be a little bit more specific because I don't want to read through everyone. But again some ideas of what you can do for research and, and ideas to help you with the writing process. And just like as a final note as I already said a couple minutes ago it's no supplement for good writing and, and taking a lot of time and effort into your writing. This isn't magically going to make you a better writer. Good writing is hard, like I've mentioned many times in class, nor is the fact that you're using all these sources going to make you know, your writing easier. It's not like if you thought, oh, I'm going to put 10 hours into my research and, and everything to write the essay. Now because of this, it's going to save me two hours. I'm only going to write for eight. No. Don't think this is a shortcut to make you a better writer. These are just ways to hopefully help your writing become more efficient or the note-taking process be more efficient and, and saving some time, but it's no supplement for a critical eye with writing and it's no supplement for you taking your time. So I hope you enjoyed the screencast, getting a few ideas of how to take notes and building on your, your research. You Just because this is for helping notes doesn't mean that you can't help do these things with your writing, inserting quotes right away, citing everything. And again, I hope this is, is very helpful. I'll stop talking right now. Take care. If you have any questions, please ask.